It's Wednesday, November 1st. I'm on my way home from work and I'm stopping by to see what's going on here. And it looks like it's been a nice day for working, even though it's late right now. Look, we have a, a lovely little helper. That's just fabulous. What's happening over here? Uh, scaffolding. Scaffolding, yahoo! That's okay. This is uh, Dakota's helping Scott set this up along here so we can get the the windows in place when those eventually come in. Don't ask me about what happened with that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, unfortunately we thought the windows were going to be in this week and uh, they ended up, they were not in the dock in Anchorage, they were in the dock in Seattle, which is like a huge difference. <laughs> right, yeah, no, like now they're going to be on a slow boat to Alaska, so I don't know if we're going to get them by the end of the week or next week, whatever. We just got to go, it is what it is. So at least they're going to get this set up, put the, the long scaffolding along there so it'll be easier to get up here and, and hang these. Uh, upper level ones and uh, hopefully the snow will hold off but you know if not we'll do what we got to do so uh, let's go inside and see what's happening there all right so we'll let them continue what they're doing here and uh, we'll go inside see what's going on suppose I could get a doorknob for that or something that will happen soon it's much warmer in here that thing is roaring so that's helpful. And uh, so, unfortunately, we did not get all of this. He finished the insulation across, but uh, we're missing in the mid section there. So he was working on the ones uh, across the back there. Anyway, it is a slow process but happening. So. Um, Looks like we have a boiler here. This is pretty schnauzy. Prestige triangle tube. Very nice. So Scott's dad is here with his friend and they just brought this down from Anchorage. So this looks like uh, exactly what we need to hook up in floor heating. Emma Jean now has her little <laughs> video corner <laughs> set up over here with snacks. I'm going to take her home soon. And uh, they're working on getting the manifold installed here for the in-floor heating. So, You're the is it, this is our little producer. Um, no, this is low budget video. <laughs> Looks like um, Scott put up some plywood there for hanging that boiler. Straight from Ooh. Russia, Baltic birch. Ooh, snazzy. Exotic. Ooh. Nine ply. <laughs> Waterproof. I'm going to get in here and see what he's Okay, so he's got a little hook. You have to edit it. it for the swear words. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so far, so good. This is PG. There hasn't been any, hasn't been any oh, swear words so far. Oh, good, yeah, good. good. It's all going it's smoothly. All PG. It's not even, it's G. G. It's G, yes. Close to PG sometimes. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> there it's and going. No kinks, that's the main thing. No kinks, right on. What's well, tough with this cold hose? Oh. You good when you get your windows in. Did you see that nice door? I know, that's amazing. Yes. I told Scott I wanted that back and he says, well, I'm not going to mount it then. I said, okay, <gasps> you can keep what? it. What? You're you bringing it. us something that we have to return? No. No, I was going to use it at my house. Didn't oh, you? it's beautiful. I know it. Yeah. Did you get a... you don't want to use it as an entry door. You want to use it above because it can be broken into. What? No. Uh, well, it's, it's got, it's got a this is a good neighborhood. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, how come we're all laughing when you say that? What? <laughs> it is. $400 stained glass window. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. Great find. Definitely. And we have a little... Uh, Kind of a cheesy construction door up here for right now, but it's a uh, block. It's better than can't break in that one. <laughs> better than the visqueen that was up there. Hey, why is that um, all that video on so loud there? Eh? 
So let's go. Why don't you go ahead and shut it off, honey, and we're going to go home. I'm just going to... Okay, well, let's go home and get something to eat. Go, shut, go ahead and shut that off. I'm just going to go out here and look at this uh, door. I mean, I did see it, but... So this is one of Chris's finds. A deal. Pretty schnauzy, uh, nice fiberglass door. That's what he's saying. Oh, stained glass window. Could be broken into. Ah, that's a good neighborhood. We'll be fine. <laughs> So, maybe we could put that right there. Yeah, let's get your seat and put it in my car. I'm going to take you home. So, uh, okay, so they're going to use these long... Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, we should probably move this. Huh? Okay. All right, they are getting that set up there. All right. Not an easy task. Go put that in the car, please. We're going to go home. Let's see what else they brought here. There's some more scaffolding to set up around the other side of the house. We'll help uh, get the siding up. That's very useful. Looks like some other pieces that go with it. So, uh, looks like his dad rigged the boat trailer to <laughs> haul some stuff. This is probably a site before it got unloaded, but Hey, whatever way you can uh, get the stuff down from Anchorage, so uh, that's awesome. Phew, I don't have my gloves on and my fingers are starting to freeze, so I think right now I just need to get Emma Jean home and get some food. I have not been home yet either myself, so we're going to let these guys keep working and uh, I'll probably check back tomorrow to see what progress has been made. Well, it's Saturday afternoon and I did not film the other day because I didn't, well yesterday I didn't bring my camera. <laughs> so there wasn't that much happening other than hanging this uh, boiler condenser unit. They got that done on, I believe it was Wednesday, last time his dad was down and then uh, he got quite a bit done with that. So he uh, went back home that night, and they're, they're back this afternoon. So I'm just getting up here. So it looks like they've got a little pedestal built for the pressure tank. And they've got this other manifold up here. We had originally set up a hole in the... Uh, when, before the walls were, were poured. Oh, there it is. And it's not the best location the way the walls, these walls had to go in here. So Scott's just boring a new hole for the propane to come in from the exterior there. So just uh, updating on what's going on. Anything you want to say there, Senor? Well, <laughs> bore out that hole. But yeah. it's, it's getting there. If I had one size bigger bed, I could do it, but if I had uh, a bigger bed, I just don't know if I want to bore out a hole that's this big. No, don't do it then. Just, uh... Well, I can't get the pipe through it, so I may have to use it. Oh my gosh, that thing's huge. Ah! Yeah. But... Well, it'll just keep using the one that you have there. Just foam around it. I mean, huh? I'm fighting yeah. this thing. This thing oh, you are? Done. Okay. have it through. Somebody's knocking at the door there. Who's at the door? It's bird. Is that a little girl? That is a little girl. Bird. Well, hello there. Can you get some cheddar ducks? Yeah, so your dad went to get something to eat? Yeah. So done. Okay, so yesterday I came up here after work. I didn't have my camera, so it doesn't look like I did anything because it looks pretty trashed again. I actually cleaned. I cleaned. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Um, I was trying to, I know, it just gets messy yeah, again. The I know. But I was also trying to clear space. But I did, I, I, I cleaned in here, I, I took that board out, and I'll move that stuff there, honey, unless you want, okay. And just try to stack some things over here that we didn't need just to kind of keep out of the way. Better and then brace. I moved that, yeah, I moved that cross brace that was down there too and stuck that in the corner. So, what? Huh? Roof brace for the... Uh, oh, roof brace. Right Are you going to put that up? Well, I was going to, but uh -oh. I don't want to do it when that thing's hot. Oh, goodness. Go oh, okay. It's, 
cold in here, so I had to get a fire going. Yeah, we decided that we wanted to, just for some uh, reassurances, to brace the, the chimney up there. Yeah, $70 peace of mind. Yeah, right. <laughs> peace of mind, exactly. Better be safe than sorry. So Scott was going to do that, and then his dad showed up, so he was <laughs> trying to get it done before that thing got hot. But anyway, well, the uh, wood burning stove is serving its purpose. Uh, so I did actually, you know, I spent like five hours up here yesterday. Well, the exterior, I've been trying to put stuff away that could get snowed on again. So we're reorganizing, moved all that over there. I'm like, oh, this is going to be the fastener table. Don't put anything. Oh, I'm seeing something that's on there. It's not a fastener. <laughs> we got to try to get organized. Yay, we got some more heat going on here. I think uh, what we should do is move that, the large shelving unit and put it right there. And then we can get all that stuff out of the Arctic entry. Well, that's why I was and insulating before you got here to get this room. Oh, up, yeah. You know, right. I'm trying and to we can, uh, finish. We can slam this room and stuff. Right. This can be our station zone. So anyway, that sucker is putting off some serious heat right there. <laughs> what is that thing? A hit. Mr. Mr. Buddy. Heater. Mr. Heater. Big buddy. Big buddy. Oh yeah, it's doing its job. That's keeping keeping this whole area warm right there. Okay, so when he gets back, you guys are gonna continue your little project in there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We built a pedestal. Yeah. Okay. All right. All Looks good. Then we'll just keep going in this direction. See how much room we have. Then we know where we can put the washer and dryer. I mean, we had an original plan, but now we decided, okay, we're just gonna put things where they fit, and we'll go with that. I got all this part moved out here last night, and now that big mess needs to get moved. So uh, we definitely need to get that cleaned out of here. I want to get that stuff all organized in that other room, and then we can uh, get this place insulated in here once we get it cleaned out as well. That door is working perfectly just to keep some heat in the building at this point. He's going for it with the big one. <laughs> Get her done. You got this all uh, flattened out here. The gravel. D1. So we are working on getting these pipes in place. What's that? Oh, I'm just filming what you're doing here, so. <laughs> so this one is going to be the uh, exhaust and then this one's the intake so yeah glue. do I need, okay glue. <laughs> okay, Scott, come on so we're lining those up here and then we'll, we'll, I'll follow them outside Get up. Take those nails all I'm gonna pick up in the middle of what we're doing here because we're trying to get this uh, exhaust pipe in place we should have some ratchet straps but we don't so we're just recycling with a piece of strapping right now just to hold it up there. And Am I cementing this yet or? Yes. Yeah, cement it. So where's the Put, cement? Uh, Mike Jensen's, uh, <laughs> Mike Jensen's so nephew asked gonna, me if he could borrow a step Cement ladder, that in there. get that 12 footer and I bet he got the 8 footer. Alright, I will call Mike right now. Alright. Uh, I'll help you. All right, I could not video the process of this because I was involved in it, but anyway, we can <laughs> it's strapped up there temporarily, but hey, that'll work. So move this light down here. Well, actually, so it's you're not saying, really huh? temporary. It's uh, kind of permanent. Well, yeah, but those straps were probably going to... No, they're you, tough. No, they're it's, tough. It's a, it's a, yeah, they're cargo there? straps. Cargo straps. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Well, they're, they're seriously... So deep. now it has to go... It. it I'll it has to go it up, again right? A few more times just to give it some more stability. So what's happening here is that it has to the angle has to go up. Why did your dad say it has to because go up? Because the condensation wants to go back. You have to get the condensation to go back to the boiler, not this way. Okay. Yeah. So Okay, so that is the exhaust. All right. And then the intake is going to be we're going to have to just put that right. Oh yay, motion light. 
we're going to put the intake um, above it and just have it coming out here a shade there. Yeah, that so. kind of angles or something like that. Yeah, I think we're just, he said to just have it come straight out there. So we'll see what he's got going on next with that. So we ran some extension cords out the potential dryer vent and uh, we get some light out here. So, and then this is the propane. propane attachment. So we got that set up. Let's go inside, see what's up next. All right now, I want to see, is it fairly level, Jennifer? Uh, no, it's very much slanted toward well, the boiler. it's not where it needs to be yet. Okay, yeah. take, it up to the, take it up to the 45, Scott. Can you reach Can, it up to the 45? Now, now, is it level, fairly level? Uh, no. Yep, yeah. All right, there glue both those yep. 90s. I yeah, may I have a little bit more. Can you reach there. that? Yeah. Be, I can bring that other ladder in. Easy. Did you pass that through it now? Did you go past that gas and sit down? There you go. Now, grease yours up and put it together and you're done. You're done. We'll strap it to the wall. So that's reasonably level. Yeah, it's, it's coming it's down. I think it's. Nine, that's what I need. Okay, that's the 90s down here. That's for outside, right? Hello. Okay, that's the one. Yeah. Huh? He, no, I don't think so. He's got one in his hand. Oh, okay. Will it stay there? Oh, yeah. That's just a little. Will that stay? Yeah. If it won't stay, you can put a screw in it. Yeah, it's pushing in. Just Good. keep the critters out. That just keeps the birds out, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, now come and look at this over here, guys. You need That's to find the intake. A little bit. I'm gonna be What's going to happen is there will be a little steam come out and it might condensate. Yeah, it's got flashing right there. It needs to be screwed flat. Come and look where I'm at. You can't see where you're at. See that? See that gap right there? Oh, gap. oh yeah, uh, okay. All that needs to be screwed up. It's the only place. It just huh. happened to be the place I'm looking. Okay. Oh, that come loose a little bit. Yeah, so it needs that's two interesting. Two or three screws in it right there and yeah. get it flat. Now, yeah. this right here, you might want to bring this guy out another six or eight inches. And what you can do is you can take a piece of that scrap that's in there, that tells mm -hmm. the images, you can play, put it in there and okay. don't even glue it. Just put it okay. in there. Yeah, that's that one place that yep. we, were have, we were fighting. Okay. okay. All right. Let's do that right now and just get it done. Yeah, get it yeah. done. Get and then we we'll put the little out there, and I'm going to bring you a piece of pipe I, I to put can't. in there. Okay. I don't have an angle. Oh. Okay. All right. Just won't forget it. Okay. We're facing the reality of losing a lot of light, so I'm trying to hook up. Well, we're running <laughs> until those holes are used for what they're supposed to be. Then I'm just running a little extension cord, hooked it up uh, another one of those motion sensor lights in here so I can finish cleaning out. I never got to do this that I had planned on earlier because I've been helping Scott and his dad uh, what they were doing with the that part of the boiler so I'm going to keep working on that now but uh, tonight uh, the clocks go back which is always like oh yeah great clocks are going back an hour fall back lose, or gain an hour's sleep but no forget that. <laughs> I'd rather have the daylight so we know we're going to be uh, losing another hour in the evenings here. So let's uh, get back in here, see what they're up to. What's, uh, what's happening under here? I just put the uh, gas line in. Oh, okay. So you had to put the, uh, the fitting under there. Okay. And then they looks like they're going to hook that line for the propane. The deal is that we have to have one appliance hooked up before the propane guy will come and put the tank in and do all that exterior stuff. So this is our call on Monday. Yeah, I will. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So they're getting that together. Let's see. That's what we call Prodope. That gives you a good seal. Gas is low pressure. It's like four or five PSI. Hmm. Okay. Now, screw the, mm -hmm. screw your key on there. Okay. Okay. That's good enough. Now, take this nipple 
you put it on and you might as well just tighten the nipple, you won't have to tighten that. Take that loop off. Oh, your hands are messed up. Do I need to tighten that one? No. You're going to tighten this. When you tighten pipes, you tighten them all at one time if you can, okay? Okay. So grease this one. You might as well grease this one because this one goes on there next. This is your gas valve for your furnace, and we're going to have one of these for your stove, too. Okay, so grease both ends of that thing. Okay. That's some gnarly glue. <laughs> well, it's just, it's made to, uh, it's made for low pressure mm -hmm. to fill in big gaps, and it's uh, what they use. If you look on the thing, it tells you. Some people call it pro dope. You need more? You no. got it. Okay. Probably too much. Okay, now put this one. Yeah. I'm gonna need to put that there. Use my fingers on it. Okay. Now we're gonna have ones coming up here for your uh, uh, your stove. Or it goes in the wall or something. We gotta figure out how to get it over there. But for the, today, to stop this thing, we just need to plug in it. Okay. It's this one or it, doesn't it don't matter. And that's going to go in the T, and then this yellow thing is going to go in there once we get it adapted correctly. So it's going in the T with it? In the T with it, yeah. Now we're all three quarter inch until we get to the yellow stuff, and that's five eighths. And you're going to go get your up, uh, your cross threaded. Okay, now what you're going to do, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Clean your hands off. So the energy guide on our unit says energy efficiency range of similar models, least efficient is 80%, most efficient 90.6, our model's efficiency is 95.0. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so we're just getting that thing. He's getting the other piece that fits on there. Mm -hmm. That will be rolling there with that. Nice. Right, so I don't know if I... This is a Prestige Triangle Tube by ACV. Nice. And we'll figure out how to operate all this, I'm sure. Or your dad will show us. <laughs> hey, if somebody says it's got to be so many feet from the appliances and just say, okay, we'll fix it. But I think it'd be handier to have them both right here. Now, uh... You know, you could always have a valve right here if it turns both of them off. But I think it's better to have two valves. All right, now there'll probably be a valve outside to turn the propane tank off, if you know what I mean. Oh, right, yeah, the propane okay. guide said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll have a valve. Now, it's going to be hot to here all the time. And then and then it's going to be hot to here all the time. So you, my, my suggestion would be to have another one of these yellow valves right here. Just have it, everything in your mechanical room. Mm -hmm. And then when you pull your stove out to clean it, you'll have one of these 36 inch hoses. It's flexible. You'll mm. pull out. You just got to be careful when you pull it out. Oh, right. All right, now, son, here, this guy. Let's see. What goes next? This guy. Oh, wait a minute. No. I'm going to put this one back in there because you had it together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one, that one goes. You're done. Yeah. Now, Jennifer, on this here, we'll probably. You can see what size your stove needs to be. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that it needs to be half inch. So there's a three quarter to half inch adapter. Well, that's not it. Mm. No, wait a minute now. Here, here. No, now. that's not it. Okay. It's so wrong one. It's that one. one. It's that one, okay. Yeah. So Jennifer, mm -hmm. uh, it'd be nice if this could be half inch, if, you're, if your gas supply could be half inch to your stove. Mm. And then, but if not, you've got a three quarter uh, T and then there's a half inch reducer. So it depends on uh, when you, if you haven't bought your propane stove, have you? No. That's probably something you ought to think about buying because you can start cooking up here and you can heat this place with it. Mm -hmm. So that might be your next purchase when you go to town. Mm -hmm. Now most of the natural gas stoves can be converted. Okay. So, so don't be going out and spending special money. The only thing that's expensive is a propane refrigerator. Mm. Okay, you're not going to have one of those. Okay, now you're going to tighten Sorry. that thing, which is going to tighten all the way to here. Okay. okay? Now, you want this thing, when you're done, you want this thing going straight, straight, up. straight up. And the rest mm -hmm. of them, it doesn't matter, except this guy here would be nice if it was out here where you could turn it. You know what I'm saying? All right? Mm -hmm. okay. Doing this. Oh, I see an easy way to do it. I see an easy way to do it.
tightening on the... Okay. Practical purposes can be turned on. And if there's no smell, then we can turn the boiler on. If there's no smell, we're good. You get everything tight. So Jennifer, okay. have, you, have you looked in this thing yet? No, I haven't. So we're going to look in there and see if that kit's in there for the propane conversion. Okay, we just strap that to the wall, hold that in place, and looking good there. And this right. is where it breathes, right there. It breathes right through there, mm -hmm. and it pulls its air from the intake. See, the intake is wide open back there. See, the exhaust comes out of the bottom of this this boiler. This is this is what the big bucks is all about. This stainless steel boiler, mm -hmm. and this is the burner assembly and blower. This is the brain box. This is a circulating pump that circulates the water throughout the system. The domestic hot water comes from this 14 gallon tank out the, uh, out the top. Okay. And the hot water for the baseboard comes out the bottom for the floor. And mm. it's 120 degrees. This water here will be about 160, 180. Okay. And it'll come back and then we'll have a mixer valve on there so you can adjust it so you don't scald imaging. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, it's nice to have yeah. hot water, but yeah. until she gets used to it, it's, it's right. best to, to blend it. Now, what we were going to try to do tonight, if we got the mind left to do it, hmm. is go through this real complicated conversion. Hmm. It converts natural gas, okay. which this boiler is, to propane, which this orifice here does. This orifice here is probably one half the size of the natural gas because propane's at a higher PSI. Okay. So this tells you what size this is. And there's there's an O-ring here that I guarantee you is as critical as the one that took the Challenger down. You know, that's why the Challenger crashed, right? It was an O-ring. I couldn't remember. I was in high school at the time. It was an O-ring. <laughs> the O-ring failed. Wow. The and the... Uh, the uh, propellant got together and it blew up. So wow. all right, are critical. Now, we mm -hmm. have to go through the seven stages of <laughs> the nine stages of... Okay. <laughs> all right, so we've got to figure out. this thing out. Okay. All right, so okay. we've just been following the directions step yeah. by step here to put that piece in... A $200. Oh, I would at least, or more than that, for just the license. Okay. okay, so now the gas is hooked back up. Okay. That's right. Okay, now, all right, so what let's we, put the Naturi back in there. What we changed out was this was the one that was in there for it the natural, for natural gas. gas it's which is lower right. pressure, higher okay. volume. Mm, super, like, yeah, much larger than the other one. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do a propane grill to natural gas, you take your propane orifice and you take some drill bits and you drill a hole larger because um, the, the propane is uh this would mean yeah if you, if you convert it from propane to natural gas it needs to be larger so you drill it out okay most propane most grills come propane most boilers come natural gas mm, i wish we had natural gas in our town but well you don't have but at least yet. you got propane okay and we coming down we noticed that half the people still had oil problem with oil is you're tied to whatever the market is and it could be horrible. Mm. We need some Vaseline or something mm. to make that kind of go on there easily. Uh, what I have, have we got that's I have lotion. Hand lotion? Hand lotion? Will that work? Or? Probably would. If you okay. got it. Let me see, it's keyed. It's got to come all the way out and then it goes that way. Okay, so there's a little computer. Looks oh. like it can mount either way. Hmm. And we'll open this up and we'll do all of our wiring. Now, mm -hmm. when we wire this, we're going to come over from the electric panel with a dedicated circuit. And we're going to have an outlet right here. And remember, um, this outlet right is there. only over here or over here. This outlet will only be for this boiler. And this breaker here will see boiler only. So it'll only be for the boiler, nothing so else. So we need to tell electrician to... Dedicated circuit. Dedicated circuit. Dedicated means nothing else on it. Okay, so gotcha. we're going to dedicate the circuit. Okay. And then... With that dedicated circuit, instead of hardwiring it, we're going to have a plug into it. We're going to come out of here with a with a plug. So oh. if you lose power, you unplug this, plug it into your generator, you have heat. Oh, right on. Just yep. for this. Okay? Yep. Gotcha. And then a couple of lights. Yep. So we want we don't want this thing hardwired. Now it's mm -hmm. all right to have a switch, mm -hmm. a switch, and then a plug. Okay, so you can turn the boiler off. Mm -hmm. But you can also turn the boiler off here. 
But we want this outlet to have nothing plugged into it except this boiler. Gotcha. If you want other outlets in here, like you need a heavy duty one for your dryer. Yeah. Actually, you need 220 for your dryer. It's going to need to be a big one. And your washer needs a fairly heavy one. And the only mm -hmm. other uh, the only other dedicated circuit in the house, I like to have the refrigerator on a dedicated circuit. Hmm, okay. So then you could unplug the refrigerator and run it on your generator at the same time you ran your boiler. Good idea. Yeah, yeah definitely. So you got plenty of circuits. Yeah. So dedicate a circuit mm -hmm, to this mm -hmm. and dedicate a circuit to your uh, thing. Okay. And we're going to close this up. Yeah, take, now, is there any questions take notes on that. <laughs> well, I know you do, but. Oh, now, right. You well, can see this and you can okay. read it on it. Here's your wiring diagram. Okay. Okay, now this thing, the way it comes oh. off. Whoa. So it doesn't fall off. It's, oh, it, it hangs, hangs on here. Uh -huh. It's got to be just right. Okay. Okay. So I got to get back no. in there again when I get okay. there. Okay. It goes there. All right. That's simple. Huh? And then mm -hmm. three screws in the bottom. How'd you guys mount it to the wall? They okay, missed that it part. It's on the wall on a clip. Oh. It has a clip that mounts and it sits on it. Okay. And then just to make sure that it didn't move around, we put a couple of screws in the bottom so it can't tip this way. But oh. its primary way of hanging it, okay. it's probably 150 pounds. Oh. It, mm -hmm. it hangs on the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so you can control how much heat you got in the bedroom versus the kitchen versus the living room. Now, mm. this one here is dead. This is this is an extra, and you see I, oh. I I kinked it on purpose there, so water won't flow through it. Okay. If I hadn't done that, we would have just put a cap on it. And since mm. we had these fittings, we just put that. Now I don't know what you'll ever use this one for, but if you were to ever run, say, mm. heat to your garage out there and, and wanted to heat the floor, you've got another mm -hmm. zone you could run it separate. Oh. Now, okay. We're going to fill this with glycol, so if if you went away and the power went out, it wouldn't freeze up because. Perfect. You, you can stand for your plumbing to freeze up. It's it's hundreds or, or, or thousands. When your in-floor freezes up, it's tens of thousands. Ugh. Well, it's in the yeah. concrete. Right, yeah. So what people do when it <laughs> freezes up is they bring it up another inch and a half and put more pipe in it and then shorten all your doors by an inch and a half. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, it's no, no. Not a, it's not a... Th no. There's a retrofit. Mm. That there's three ways to put in in-floor heat. One is in the concrete. The other is in gypcrete, and mm -hmm. then the other, they've got a system of 5 8 inch stuff where they lay the pipe to do retrofits in older houses. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. a fourth way is through these rafters, but that's a real piss poor way and expensive way to do mm -hmm. it. Like in the floors of a ho old house, oh, right. you, you can run them that way. Mm -hmm. But your, your most efficient way is to heat this big giant slab of concrete toasty. Yep. Can't wait. Yeah, well, you're, mm, you're pretty close. Toasty. You got to get the propane guy up here. Okay. You got to get the water hooked to this thing. We got to get this up. We got to make sure that this doesn't have a leak in it. Okay. Now, this is a way we can check that. We can put we can put pressure here. We can close those two valves mm -hmm. and put pressure and determine that there that none of this leaks. And then we got to come back here to determine none of this leaks. Okay. Now somewhere there's more stuff and there's two little valves that go on there, two little temp. See that little brush in there? Your yeah. water goes through here and it scrubs the air out of it and lets it out right here so it oh. takes all the air out of your system. Oh, cool. And then from here this goes to your expansion tank, to this goofer here. Okay. And that is, so you, you have air in your system that you control so it doesn't, you don't get water hammers. You know what a water hammer is? Sounds bad. It is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, the reason you have this big tank in here is so you don't have water hammers and constant pressure in your domestic water system, okay? Oh. So that mm -hmm. tank there is exactly mm -hmm. that tank right there, except that the tank there one. does the baseboard heat. Oh, this this little guy here is going to do the, okay, it's its own little it's separate. It's its own little mm -hmm. air. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. if you ever see a washer and dryer put in, a lot of times you'll see pipes above the washer. It's called a uh, dampener, so you don't have a, when a valve closes real fast, you don't get thunk. You know how you mm -hmm. get thunk? Mm -hmm. Well, that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's because you don't have the proper valve in there. Okay. Now, we're looking we're for... We're looking for, we're going to keep trying to find our little... So now, over here is going to be a gauge that tells us how much pressure we got. On that, okay. 
And then this, this wi the wire is going to come in here and it's going to turn this thing on and that's your pressure switch. So this thing will turn. When it sees the pressure is low, it turns it on. When it sees it's satisfied, it turns it off. Mm. Okay, now, not so this one goes to, one comes from the well and one comes from the, uh, or goes to the system. Okay, now one will have a valve on it, or probably both of them. And then I don't know what these do. I think these are water faucets, so you could have a water faucet here. Oh, okay. But I don't know. I think that's what that is. Hmm. Why two of them, I don't know. Hmm. And this guy here should be getting a pressure valve, and I saw a pressure valve, I mean, not a, a, a pressure gauge. Pressure gauge, and oh, okay. And I saw one here. And it's got to be somewhere. So it's laying here. It's, it, it's about this big. Okay. Well, we'll just keep now there's a, I brought a box of gauges. This That's is how you test gauge. the pressure. You put it on the system, okay. pump it full of air, come back tomorrow and see that it's still holding. Oh, that's how we're going to test the yeah. the in-floor heating? Yeah, we'll test. Pressure Here's there. another okay. one. Okay. Nice. Here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Take your pick. <laughs> pretty critical stuff. Now, this okay. guy here is going to be... I think we're going to use this one since I don't know where the other one is. On your water thing. Okay, so this baby is going to screw in right here. Instead of, and you'll be able to look down at it. So this is. Oh, I see. This will tell you what your mm -hmm. pressure is. Mm -hmm. So we got to do all these up. Okay. So then we got to hook these up to the water. And then we're, we're going to end up with a, here is a one inch valve. Okay. Oh, I had some valves here somewhere. And this will be, let's see, I'm not sure which side of this. We may put one on both sides. Because <coughs> this is coming out of the ground over to here. Hmm. Technically, this doesn't need a valve on it, but we'll probably maybe use that valve that's already there. Now, that's one problem we're going to have is getting that stupid thing. Oh, that. Uh, dent. Mm. So we'll be cutting that thing off and going through the wall with it, probably 90 over. Hmm. Is that valve still leaking, or did he get the? No, I think he fixed it. Yeah. Okay. We may end up using that, but somehow we got to get that thing over to. Right so we got to get it through the wall, and then this thing is going to be this little T is going to be sitting out here somewhere. And we got to come out and go into the side of it, and then that means the tank's hooked up. And mm. Then from there we come out this side and we go in here. This inputs your water. Okay. And then this goes over to the boiler, cold, comes back here hot. And this is all hot water here. Mm. This is all cold water here. And this is unregulated for outside hose bibs. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. There'll be a lot of spaces. Good. Now these all are off right now, and this is the valve that turns them on. So we probably won't have a lot of valves in your house, so it'll save you ten dollars per. You'll just use this as your valves until okay. you find you need a valve. Yeah. Okay. So while I was helping his dad finish up some things. There. What, so what do you have here, sir? This is what Scott came home to Copper do. Copper over king salmon chowder. Can you give away some of your secret ingredients? <laughs> um, everything in here except for the cream, uh, obviously, is... Um, and the corn. We bought the corn. <laughs> everything else in here is either harvested, grown, or foraged in Alaska. Let's see here. Ew, it's some good looking. I see some salmon. You put some carrots There's in there. There's carrot. Mmm. And the mushrooms are porcini and hedgehog. Get to test this. Mmm. Yummy. Good job. So, um, so we're eating. Good job, the chef. <laughs> so we're eating in style here too. <laughs> if we're gonna work hard, we're gonna eat hard. <laughs>
It's Sunday, November 5th, and we ended up taking the day off today because we were up here very late last night working. And we've got quite a bit done as far as installing the boiler, which we'll go look at inside. And we just kind of needed to take it easy. And I'm headed over to my classroom. It's uh, evening, and I need to get some things ready for tomorrow. And Scott's home watching Imogene. So his dad ended up going home like super late last night. So um, anyway, we all decided, okay, we're just going to regroup and get going again tomorrow. We are certainly hoping that the windows will be in this week. So that's our... Fingers crossed for that one. But anyway, last night we were talking about um, doing this. I don't know how well the, that video came out, but it's a little bit easier to see. It's daylight here. We wanted to get that little piece put on the end, and we just need to stick the that little uh, mesh vent uh, cover up over that. But this will be the uh, exhaust for that boiler. And uh, uh, so we got that done, which was a major accomplishment. And we've also been talking about what we're going to do with this area. Um, we're thinking that we're going to switch our priorities and try to get this enclosed. So maybe just some uh, quick framing to go across here and down up to where like the, the bathroom area or the utility room stops over there. And uh, maybe just use some of that metal, the uh, that corrugated metal that we we're going to put up this far, and then just continue to go around here with that, uh, and then just the siding up there. Uh, then just quickly insulate it, put like some visqueen on the inside so that we could set this area up for storage, so we can move some of the things that we currently have in our garage over to here. And uh, we're going to put our freezers along here. So I'm going to call the electrician and get some outlets. He can run some outlets here on the outside for hooking those up. And uh, then we can use the door that's currently uh, in, in the entrance to the house and put it on here. So probably we're thinking like maybe just cut off the, the enclosed area right here before that utility room starts. So that this is still all uh, like a parking area open parking area. I'm so glad we put that light out here. <laughs> Motion sensor, yay! Uh, and then maybe continue to do that, uh, the metal all along here and uh, just all along here and then the siding from there up. So if we just kind of continue that theme all the way around here, uh, hopefully we'll have enough metal to do that. I'm not sure. We may have to get some more, but I think if we can get one of the guys, the young guys, to work tomorrow after school, then we can get the stuff like maybe underneath the carport and get this door installed here. So I'm not even going to look at it. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> Did not finish that last night. Oh, I really wanted to get that done. But anyway, can only do so much. And, uh, but I am feeling better that we got some organization happening there. So the major accomplishment was getting this hooked up. So we really have to feel good about it. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to call the propane office and request that the, the guy come out. So now he's he'll be able to hook up everything outside, run his line, and uh, test it with this here. So we never got to do the uh, pressurized testing. Scott's dad was talking about doing that last night, but on the on the in-floor heating system, but uh, next time he comes back, that will be a priority for sure. So right now we just have that little heater hooked up to kind of keep things warm in the water area. Our water is actually looking good. Scott's been running this uh, off and on as he's uh, been up here doing insulating and stuff during the week. So. We ran a little water test last night and it's looking a lot clearer and it tastes good. So we should probably maybe run a sample of that to Anchorage up to the water store and and have that tested. So um, anyway, I think we're we're doing all right. It's slow, slow going. Uh, Scott needs to get back up here and keep working on this. That's his plan tomorrow. He said, I'm just going to bring Imogene and hook up the little movie for her over there in that corner, get the stove going, and uh, keep going across here with the insulating. So, uh, 
I think we're doing all right. It's uh, it's slow, <laughs> but you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Very cliche, but that's how we're kind of having to look at what's happening here. And um, we have to keep discussing like, what are the plans for the next thing? Uh, one thing that his dad was talking about last night was, well, what are you guys going to do about your cooking stove and how are we going to get that propane line because we were thinking oh we, i probably should have run that in the concrete too and it's like well, what do you do now well okay we're gonna have to run it you know through through the rafters or or across uh where the um well up here on the i'm not doing a very good job but we were talking about <laughs> coming coming through the utility room you know, and then up there, and then and then across, uh, because this is just going to be all. This is going to be enclosed storage up there. So this will have a wall or something there, yeah. And so if we run the the a propane line across there, then we don't have to worry about trying to enclose it and hiding it coming across here. And basically, the design of the kitchen is that the stove is going to be located well on that side. <laughs> Over there, so uh, kind of in the center, and so then we could bring the the uh, the propane line down directly to the stove. And then we're also talking about where we're going to vent this. So we went through that whole discussion again. Like, do we want do we want ventless? Do we want to you know have a a, a major hood, or do we just want to use just a regular kind of uh, one with like the the built-in microwave and then the exhaust underneath there? Um, as long as we get a good quality one is uh, maybe the way we're going to go with it. But like also, well, that it's an expense. Do we really need that right now? We have a microwave that works, you know, as cheesy as it is <laughs> at the apartment. We could just use that. Do we need to have that as an expense? So, uh, but anyway, that's what we we're trying to figure out is like where we're going to drop down this, um, this uh, propane line coming down here and uh, probably end up going through the wall. You know, come down and can go through the wall back here. So anyway, that was a, a topic of discussion last night. We were trying to figure out some logistics. So sometimes it just takes time. It takes time to sit down and think these things through and look at a lot of the feedback that folks have given us and, and look at you know saying things that his uh, dad suggests as well. So, um, you know, everybody has different ideas and we like to look at those ideas and try to figure out, well, what's the best fit for what we need to do next. So, um, anyway, thanks again, everybody, for all of your comments and we appreciate the encouragement and the feedback. So any other ideas, please let us know. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this week. Like I said earlier, we're really hoping to get those windows uh, in. I mean, if we can get them down here this week, if they arrive in Anchorage and we can get them down, then maybe next weekend try to work on installing. That's really the, the major problem to, to keep some heat inside the building at this point. Um, it would make it much more comfortable to work in here. <laughs> Plus peace of mind to get more of the building enclosed. Um, so anyway, we'll keep you posted on what happens uh, next week.